Tots? I don't even f***ed out, girl. It was a messy episode. Um, Tots? Let's get these onions roasted, girl. You ready, Laganja? Let's get these irons roasting? Onions, onions, bootleg onions. Oh, onions. Oh, I love a roasted onion. Okay, sign me up. I'm ready. I got the munchies. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Book Like Onions, where we'll give you our opinions of what we think of people on television from our bedrooms. The most powerful, power, what is it called? That thing, uh, power, PowerPoint, right? The most powerful PowerPoint presentation that's ever been on Drag Race. But how are you, Laganja? Girl, I am sickening. I am just ready to kiki with you and see all these loops. Bootleg Opinions. Hey Laganja, I found a way to make easy money during my times off. What? When? Where? And how, mama? It's called Pinecomb, girl. It's an easy way to make simple cash on your daily life. Girl, tell me more. First off, it's invite only, and all you gotta do is give your opinions on products and brands, and then you earn cash and also reward points. Oh my god, that's sickening. And you're telling me I can do this whenever and wherever? Whether you're doing laundry, pick up your kids from school, on your ride to a gig, literally wherever you are, even laying in your bed, you can make extra money. Well girl, you know I love extra, so I'm gonna sign up right now and get into this. Oh, grrr. Yep girl, while you're signing up, I've already made some extra money, and yes, just that quick. Thank you, Pinecone. My God, it's also a Nielsen brand. That is so reputable. So my darlings, Sasha, your way to the link in the description and use the link to sign up for Pinecone and start earning extra money and extra reward points now. Start making money like the way that I've been for the past few months. I've been using it for the past few months and baby, let me tell you, the rewards are amazing. So one of my Patreon members wanted to ask you, did you expect the amount of virality from the lip sync? If there's anything I've learned from working in this industry for many, many years, it's going into a project with expectations is the kiss of death. So I hoped it would do this well, but I was just gonna be okay with whatever it did because I truly was proud of what I left on the stage. So how has it been since the Lip Sync Assassin? It's been a month and a half. Girl, it has been truly a whirlwind. I feel like my life was kind of turned upside down in the best way possible. I have been booking a lot of gigs, a lot of special cameos, which I can't really tell you too much about, but let me just say, you're gonna be seeing me a lot more. So I'm feel, oh, there goes my ear. I hate, I hate that, that for, for me. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna let him see it, like you said, or maybe I can hide it, like, kinda in the zhuzh of it all. There we go. Things have picked up. I feel really blessed that so many new individuals have found me, are traveling to my page, and hey, donating to our incredible GoFundMe, sis. We have to talk about that. Exactly! I am beyond impressed and shocked and in awe and gagged and gooped that we raised the $25,000 in under 48 hours. I just have to say a huge thank you to everyone out there who donated, who supported, who shared. I never in a million years thought that we would make the goal. I really did it. I thought like, even if I just walk away with the $2,000 from you and Shimmy, like I'm already such a winner. So the fact that we did that, it made me feel so appreciated and so special. And that is why when we passed our goal, I decided with you that we would continue to raise money, but donate it to other people who also need funds and help. So the first organization that we have chosen to donate $5,000 to is the Trans Wellness Center here in Los Angeles. They have been incredible to me as well as to all my sisters and brothers and non-binary gals and pals. And now we're trying to raise an additional $5,000 so that we can give it to somebody specific. I mean, I would love to reach $100,000 and help 20, you know, trans individuals along their journey. Um, in fact, I haven't told you this, Yuha. What? Oh, you're keeping a secret from me, huh? I kept a secret from you. The House of Dry never keeps secret from each other, girl. We're all about the sorority and sisterhood. Unless you're going on to Drag Race. Right, unless you sign an NDA, or a DNA as you like to call it. I know it's called an NDA, but I like to call it DNA. It's just more fun. So I have been in talks with Shimmy and he is going to help me set up my own organization so that even after the GoFundMe ends, I can continue to raise fun specifically for trans women. I'm actually working on my documentary right now with the working title of Honoring Her. And so my foundation is going to be called Honoring Her as well, and that's why I really want to give back to trans women specifically. You know, since getting this GoFundMe, I have heard from 
people all around the world. But what really touches my heart is trans women. Trans women are the reason that I'm here and that I exist and that I'm breathing and living and feeling fabulous. And so I have been so inspired by this and the fact that you and I were able to raise $25,000 under 48 hours that I wanna figure out a way to continue to do this because it's really important to me that I give back. You know, my parents were high school counselors for 30 plus years and they really taught me that it's all about caring and I have just felt so cared for because of you, because of Shimmy, because of everyone that donated and it really has inspired me to wanna give back and keep it going. So we hope people will continue to go and donate to the GoFundMe that you started and hopefully long after that with my new organization honoring her, we'll continue to do golf God's work, mama. <laughs> Y'all went behind my back? It wasn't behind your back, girl. He reached out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, girl. I'm just I'm with you. Yes, I was very surprised that we were able to raise over $25,000 in under 48 hours because initially when I first started this, I was like, but like opinions is not a huge channel. I mean, we are a platform, but like we're not like huge, huge, huge. I figure maybe we'll raise like $10,000 within like a month and two months maybe. But surprisingly, the overwhelming of positive messages from everyone around the world has been great. And I wasn't expecting to reach the goal that quick. And people keep saying, you know, you're very nice for doing this for Laganja. But honestly, I don't feel like I did that much because I feel like we did it as a whole community. I mean, I pressed some buttons with my mouse on an internet, but that was it. But we all did it together as a team, as a community with love, generosity and support. So I think that not that it's a whole thing on just me and Shimmy, but honestly, we did it as a whole community and it shows us that, hey, we are in this together. I could not agree more. And truly, I have never been more proud to belong to the LGBTQ IA plus community. I really feel like we are so strong and there is nothing we can't do when we work together. And again, that's why I really wanted to continue the GoFundMe and looking into starting this organization because I do really believe that you and I have a platform bigger than we even realize. <laughs> and so I want to use that for good. And I want to help other trans women, you know? I really do. And for the longest time, the only platform that I thought I have is sitting on this $10 squeaking Ikea chair, but the platform is bigger than I expected. And you know what? <laughs> Shimmy is actually continuing to donate $1 to every follower that he gains to charity. So if y'all want to go follow Shimmy, the link is in the description below, baby. Yes, God. And I think it's great that you're starting this foundation, Laganja, because not just supporting trans people, but also educating people that's outside of the trans umbrella, right? Because most people think that when, hey, when you're transitioning here in the USA, you just get some surgeries, you go to the doctor, the insurance will pay for it, but it's not that easy. Like, you have to go through a long process with your insurance and at the end only to find out that you're denied because most of the things that we wanna do with our bodies, the insurance companies looks at it as cosmetics. So it's not covered by insurance. And when it comes down to bills and everything, it's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So the USA system is kind of messed up. So I think that you starting this foundation on raising awareness and also money and supporting trans people is gonna do excellence throughout the world. So thank you so much. Well, thank you for believing in me and thank you more importantly for inspiring me and showing me that we really do have a lot of power as queens and as a community. Community. Yes, honey, never underestimate the power of a bootleg queen, baby. Now, speaking of... <laughs> I have to throw some jokes in there. I can't be serious 100% all the time, girl. <laughs> I girl, can't. please. Huh? I said, girl, please. They know you like to read me. No, I'm not reading you, girl. I'm reading myself, too. Remember last time I was pulling out the check and somebody said, why is you giving me Wendy Williams vibes? Like, Laganja is trying to gather her emotions. She's just crying, but this thing over here is going at 100. <laughs> That is so sweet, you guys. I, I can't believe that this is real. Of course it's real, girl. Now, next time when I see you, you better not drive a new car. That's all I'm saying, girl, okay? You better not drive a new car. You better not have some new shoes. Oh my God. Sister, this is so special. Honey, she's relentless, but I live. <laughs> not that because I just don't know how to react to someone who's crying. Like if someone's crying in front of me, like the most important thing that I wanna do is make them feel better. So I'm just trying to like throw some jokes in there, trying to brighten the situation. Trust and believe mama, you have made me feel like the woman that I am. And everybody's trans experience is completely different. Whether you wanna do surgeries, if you wanna take medications, or if you wanna dress a little bit differently, everybody's experience is different. But every trans experience matters. Exactly, honey. Now, speaking of matter tourism, <laughs> look at this transition, girl, from 
the organization to Drag Race. Emphasis on transition. Uh huh. <laughs> now that we're up to the top four, who are you rooting for to win? Well, my winner has always been the same since the beginning, and that is Kylie Sonique Love. That's who I want to win, Mama. I'm rooting for my trans sister. She's been a huge inspiration to me in my life as a person and as an artist, and I think she slayed the competition this season. But anyway, category for this runway is tots. I don't even know, girl. It was a messy episode. Um, tots. I'm sorry, give me one second. It's coming up. Hold on, sorry. Let's do the swipe up and the thumbnail photo then while we're at it. It's still, still loading. Sure. So we're doing photo first. Mm hmm. Swipe up. Okay. She yes, has graduated, God, but. She <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> you go ahead. Okay. You go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, God, honey. <laughs> Both laugh. Yes, God, honey, it's Miss Laganja Stranja, and I'm back, back, back again for bootleg onions. <laughs> because these onions ain't gonna dry themselves, honey, so, so wipe up. Okay. All right, 30 more seconds. All right, let's do the ending then. Like, you know what? Well, thank, and if y'all had a good <laughs> And if y'all enjoyed our bootleg openings today, our bemos and our PayPal are in the link in the description below. And where can we find you, Laganja? Girl, you can find me everywhere at Laganja Astranja, except for TikTok, where I'm the only Laganja Astranja. And my name is Yuan Masaki, and you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and new on TikTok under Yuan Masaki. Bye, Laganja! Bye, sister! Mwah! <laughs> You're crazy. Hey, squirrel friends. When one video ends, just watch another one. It's called cringe viewing. I support you. Now look over there. And that's something not to joke about. Check out the video of me and Kidamine. We're kind of cook and pop quiz. What season does she think I'm from? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, so we first up have Trinity K. Bonet. So she's a kitty cat and her superpower is being fierce on the runway. I think this is a fun look. I think this is cool. I think that whatever they were given in the workroom, I think she made it work. I like how she intercepted the pink and the white together. And it's very furry and at the bottom is really fun as well. And that tail is gigantic. It has structure and when she was walking down the runway, it definitely whips back and forth, left and right. And I think the artistry of the makeup helped solve this look. I think it's great. And I think the way that she carved out her body with the pink fur is excellent too. <laughs> I don't know what to say, girl. Okay. It, it, it was, this challenge was, a, was something, okay. girl. I absolutely agree, sister. I love that she is giving us pink panther <laughs> down the runway. It definitely, oh, I couldn't even speak. I really love the artistry in the makeup as well. I mean, she is giving you full on Cats the musical, okay? This is not even drag anymore. This is theatrical stage makeup. And I love that she really took it there because it is a cartoon challenge after all. Exactly, and she definitely gave us cartoon, baby. Ginger Mint. Girl, she looked crazy as the cat. <laughs> Your turn, go. Up next, we have Miss Ginger Mint. Um, I'm actually not for sure what her cartoon was supposed to be. So for me, this is gonna have to be a miss. It's gonna have to be a no. I feel like we were really clear in Trinity's presentation as the kitty cat. Whereas this to me just doesn't feel as theatrical. I think she looks beautiful. I love her accessory of the parasol, but it's just not enough for me. It's not giving me cartoon. Now, while I don't really understand the character she is portraying, I will give it to her that she was selling it down the runway. And obviously the judges loved it. So they must have seen something there that maybe as a viewer on television, I'm not picking up on. <laughs> what you necessarily want to see is not what you want to see. Um, I agree with you. When I first saw this, I just saw Ginger Minj with a different outfit because this is kind of similar to her aesthetic and also what she's worn down the runway and her Southern Belle look. So I just feel like this is just her dressing up as Ginger Minj. I think if she was going to give us a little bit more of, let's say, cartoon, maybe go a little bit more bigger eyes, a bigger lips that give us more cartoon, right? Is this a bad look? No. But I do agree with the judges that her acting, her campiness helped sold the character. But overall, as a look, I wasn't buying it. It was fine, but like, it didn't give me cartoon. 
especially on the makeup. I think her makeup feels really similar to what she's given us before. And had she dolled it up, we could have seen more character in her look. Next up is Raja O'Hara and her favorite color, purple. And the judges said that purple is your color. So they obviously missed the memo with Jan that that is her favorite color and that she wears it all the time, right? Poor Jan, not this. I love this look. I love that there's purple all over. This is similarly to what Trinity did where she had the makeup artistry to match the cartoon characters that she's serving us so that it sells the point. Whereas Ginger Minch, I felt like the makeup artistry wasn't really there. That's why it kind of gave me just Ginger. But my only thing with this is that I wish that she would have put some glitter or some kind of metallic glistening AB color onto her face because the bodysuit that she's wearing underneath the purple one is supposed to be the skin. So I just want to see that match up just a little bit more, right? Just so that it doesn't seem like it's a dress on top of bodysuit. But instead, it's a dress on top of skin. That's my only little nippy pick thing. Well, I have to be honest, sister. This isn't my favorite look. I definitely think that Raja did better than Ginger, especially with the makeup. I really love how she did take herself to a purple people eater kind of moment. However, I just feel like this look is a little underwhelming. I feel like it's a fashion look. It looks great, but it's not giving me cartoon. I love the eye detail and the glove. I think that that was very smart but it's just one detail. It's not the full look for me. So I'd say this one is in the middle for me. I'm fine with it because it kind of reminds me of him from the Powerpuff Girls. Like it's very fashion-y, but at the same time, it's very playful. You know what I mean? That's why I kind of give it a pass, but I can see your point too. Well, no, I give it a pass as well. I think it's better than Ginger for sure, which was not a pass. But again, for me so far, Trinity has really been the one to take it into that cartoon realm. Next up is Eureka O'Hara and she's serving you the villain cartoon. Oh my god, I loved her speech when she was walking down the runway. And with this look, it's fine. It's villain. It's very evil. It's a gown. It's cool. I definitely agree. She really committed to the character, which I think helped sell her look better because it is a pretty simple look. However, it does feel fully realized. I can see this as a cartoon character, and it is still giving us that glamour that Eureka is known for. Exactly. <laughs> You're yawning. <laughs> I know, okay. Last, but certainly not least, we have Miss Kylie Sonique Love, honey, and she is giving you witchetry for your nerves. Now, I love the silhouette of this outfit. We have yet to see her give this shape, and I think it looks really great on her because she's trying to serve cartoon. We know her for the body, adi, adi queen. And so the fact that she's fully covered, she's clearly committing to her character. I also especially love her book accessory. It totally reminds me of Hocus Pocus, which is one of my favorite movies of all times. And I think if you're going to give a witch cartoon character, what better reference than the one and only Bette Midler, mama? I think she looks fabulous in this. I saw a cartoon, I saw a character, I think it is realized. She has props to match with it. Like you said, the book, the broom, the glasses, and also the hat. I mean, this could have easily been just a regular black dress that looks very costumey and very party city, but I think she made it very fashion-y with the gloves and also the glasses, the blonde hair, and the black lip. But my only thing was the bottom of the dress. But other than that, I think she looks great. And I think when she turned around, we saw the bow. That was very cute as well. All I can say is Balenciaga! So who is your favorite to look out of all these queens? None of them, girl. This was rotted. <laughs> so who's your least favorite look then? How about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite look is Trinity K. Bonet. For me, she really took the crown on this runway. Because of her commitment to detail with the makeup, the look, it was just so over the top and I could absolutely see that translate into animation. I'm between Kylie and Trinity in this, but I'm gonna give it to Kylie Sonic Love. And my patrons have selected Raja. So I think we have three different bootleg opinions, but it's okay. That's what makes bootleg opinions so fabulous is that we can have different opinions, but still be friends, right? And still be bootleg. Exactly. All right, that's it since we did the other stuff. Hey everyone, here is my moment of grace where I'll be saying thank yous to everybody that has tipped me in the past video. So I want to say a huge thank you to Jeffrey Rasuman, not to be confused with Jeffrey Ramen, sending hugs to you in Chicago. Vinny, the D Vici. What a great drag name. Keep doing it. Thanks everyone. Till next time.